There has to be more. Have you ever thought those words? You're thinking about your life, uh, maybe your, your work, your vocation. You think, ah, I don't know if I'm in the right work, or there's got to be more to this. Or educationally, you're heading for a degree and not sure it's the right one for you, and you're thinking, ah, there has to be more. Or maybe your family. Things, you know, they're okay, but you know, you're thinking, it's just not, a, not enough. Uh, there has to be more. Or uh, maybe it's spiritual. You're a follower of Christ. You try to read the Bible. You try to pray. Uh, try to be a good person. But you're thinking, uh, is this all there is? Uh, there has to be more. So I'd like you to turn to people next to you in your group, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, maybe as a whole group. Uh, what are some areas in your life where you're thinking, ah, there's got to be more? Uh, maybe it's job, maybe it's school, um, maybe it's family, uh, neighborhood, your spiritual life. You talk for a few minutes. So, we're starting a new series called Made for More. It's based on the book of Ephesians, written by the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul writes it to the church in Ephesus, but it's really for all Christians of all time. And he says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead. One way that I know God wants us to experience more is to experience more of Christ's power. Praying and seeing answers to prayer, uh, facing a difficult situation, and leaning on Christ's power, uh, experiencing that. One other thing I want to mention to you is the way he ends this first chapter. And God placed all things under his feet, talking about Jesus, and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Uh, he says... We're his church, and we're to fill everything, as we're his people, his body, we're to fill everything in every way. That means we fill every part of this world with his love, with his grace. What he's called us to do is absolutely amazing, and I'm telling you, we're made for more than we're currently doing. If we got everybody in, in our church, everybody who's a Christian in the world, involved using their gifts their abilities, their passions to make a difference, to fill every crook and cry, cranny of this world with, with God's fullness. It would be unbelievable what could be done. And I want to challenge you with that today. So go ahead and have your study. Go through the, the journal. Go through your, uh, some of you are doing discipleship books and uh, uh, on this subject. Uh, go through those, and I hope you have a great time. Pray for each other, of course. Thank you, guys.